Well, hi there, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering. Hey, today I got a short one for you, but it goes like this. You know, uh, one thing that amazes me is uh, <clears throat> the assumptions we as engineers tend to make when we become leaders, managers, whatnot. And, uh, you know, it's really interesting to watch. You take a guy who's got a degree in electrical engineering, and maybe his, his focus was on, uh, say, digital design. And then you ask him to design an analog circuit, and it is amazing to watch how much effort he'll make, he or she will make, you know, looking at this and checking textbooks and being so careful that, you know, okay, so their expertise is in digital, they're straying a little bit out of their expertise all the way over to analog, which, you know, the big scheme of things, those are pretty darn close. And they'll make an amazing effort in all this work, you know, as they stray a little bit from, from their expertise. And then you put them in management, which is a thousand miles away from their training, because now as a manager, you know, your business is people. It's no longer technology. I mean, you're still involved in technology, but, but make no mistake about it. When you're a manager or you're a leader, you know, you're in the people business. That is a thousand miles away from our training. And it may never ceases to amaze me how many managers then engineer engineering managers will be like, yeah, no, I got this. I don't need to, you know. It's like if, if you bring them an inch from their expertise, they go to all this effort and read all these things, and then you bring them a thousand miles from their training, and they just assume they got it. And so, you know, my, my challenge today is as, as you become a manager, one thing you I really recommend you do is you embrace this idea that you're operating out of your comfort zone. You're operating out of what you've been trained for. And, uh, you know, you need to, to, to treat this like any other engineering problem where, um, and, and I developed this idea in other videos, but, you know, the long and the short of it is our brains interpret things around us to help us believe we're better managers than we are. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, for the, you know, when you, especially when you first start out, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You, you know, you're probably not nearly as good as you think you are. And if you can get someone to give you some real feedback, you'll discover like, oh my gosh, I'm, you know, all these things going wrong. You know, and you trick yourself and you say, well, things are going well, therefore I'm, I'm a good leader. Well, it might be that the group is succeeding not because of you, but in spite of you. The point is, I would like to challenge you lean into the idea you've got to read things, you know, talk to other leaders, find a mentor, um, you know, lean into the idea that this is a new adventure, this is a whole bunch of new ideas, and it's the leaders who just kind of assume they're good leaders. By and large, they're not the ones that are good. At any rate, so I'll do a number of other videos where I talk about, you know, some suggested things to read and, and you know, kind of where to start, but you know, maybe to throw this out, okay, so you're a new leader, where in the world do you start? You know what the first book I would read is? I would read Edgar Schein's Humble Inquiry. And the idea there is he uh, really kind of helps set the stage for what's really appropriate, especially if you're leading experts with, you know, as an engineering manager, you're leading experts, right? Um, humbly ask people, you know, the days where the manager knows everything and understands all aspects of the project, that's long gone. We have to learn to, you know, trust other leaders and whatnot, other other engineers, rather. And, um, you know, probably step one is, is to learn how to humbly talk to people and ask questions and listen. And, um, you know, especially if it sounds like, leader, I don't need to be humble, I'm the leader. You know, okay, then you definitely need to read this book. But... It's a short little book. It's 150 pages. I think it's 12 or 13 books on Amazon. And I'll tell you, when a few years ago, when it first came out, I, I showed the book, I read it, and I showed the book to our CEO. And the first thing he did is say, okay, we're buying a copy of this for every one of the executives at Tandem. And it really is, everybody who read this book uh, reports, it, it's a helpful concept. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead you with that. But we're going to talk a lot about, you know, what sort of things you ought to be reading and, and, and so on. At any rate, uh, I'm Tom Ulrich, you know, the engineering leadership guy. Hey, you can go to my website, TomUlrichConsulting.com. I've got all my videos listed there. I've got, I think at this point, as of January 2019, I've got about, I don't know, 12 or 13. I've got my papers, uh, several of the papers I've published in academic journals I've got there. 
and uh, also on YouTube, you know, you can just search, if you search on Dr. Tom Ulrich, um, my stuff will come up, and of course you can search an engineering leadership guy, although that seems to alias with a lot of other things. But at any rate, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.